video shot. Okay, no, now this is serious. For well, all of you people, because I know I have censors that, you know, no. But God is telling me that there might be some people asking me for help. So, you know, when it comes to being a professional, double profession. Uh, first of all, we have some special chapters from the Quran, which is healing. So, the most important one is called Man Vil Dua. So, you can write Man Vil Dua. That is very important for you when you have uh, when you have headaches and stuff like that. You will feel better. But if you are not a trained Muslim, meaning if you are not regularly listening to the Quran, you will feel disturbed and this is sign uh, that you have. Uh, Being, being, being you know, being affected by being. So also there is another, uh, uh, you know, uh, Quran, uh, you know, verses that you can listen to, which is called Rukia, and Rukia is mostly done by someone very uh, highly uh, educated in Islam which is called a sheikh and a sheikh is basically like the Muslim priest he will uh, put his hand on his, your forehead while you are having your, you know, just, uh, the, uh, you know, arms, everything covered and he will read this Quran, the Rukiya on your head and when he does this, he can talk to the demons inside of you, and they will say, I am here sent from this and this person to make you this and this. You understand? And, you know, also, if you are very much praying to God, you can have that talent that when you are speaking to God and you are listening to the Quran, uh, you you must listen to the Quran and speak it to God mostly, or you are uh, reciting the Quran inside of you because you know it's God. You know you have to have His words around. He, he will he will listen anyway if you are praying, of course, without the Quran on. But mostly he's most happy when you are doing it uh, with it on. So you can ask, you know, if you are a Muslim watching me, you can ask. God, when you are doing, you can make Rukia too, you know, you, you have to just read them out loud, not just inside. So read them, and uh, then you, you know, you can be con con contacted by the demon, and you will, you know, there is times where the demon will come and say, yes, I am here because uh, uh, this girl's father has sent me here to make her stupid simple. And then you must say to the demon, go back to him, go to him and make him stupid. Or if you stay here, you will hear the Quran and you will burn. So there is demons who which are very much, uh, you know, hard to get rid of. They will be, be coming back very stubborn. So they will be coming here and say no. I don't want to go, because if I go back to him, he will kill me. Then you have to say, well, I'm going to read the Quran anyway, and you're going to be killed anyway, because I'm a believer of God, and you are also a creation of God, and if you don't bow down, you will die. So, basically, the demon has no choice but to disappear, and, you know, God will take the demon away, if you are lucky, inshallah. So, uh, inshallah, me... If God wills. Remember that all we're saying is God wills. If God wills. Because we don't know what God wills. Only we know. MashaAllah, alhamdulillah. And I say this to my, my God up above, you know. So, um, just wanted to do that. And clear some things up for you that do this if you're feeling bad. And uh, if you get in contact with demons, don't talk to them if you're not a believer. Because then they will they will eat, you know, they will come inside of you, you know, 